Hi there, this is Jasmine Clemente with Candle Chat. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I just want to talk a little bit about the candles that I actually make from my line, homestomysoul.com. Um, I bless all of my candles. For example, I use sage. This sage is burning a lot of smoke right now. You can see it in the, the camera. I don't know um, how much you can see, but right now there's a big smoke storm in my apartment. But um, so sage is something that Native American Indians have been using since the beginning of time. It's so popular right now, but obviously it's popular for a reason because it works. So it removes headaches and tension. It puts you in a good mood. And what this really, really um, is for is actually removing negative spirits and negative energy out of your home and also um, blessing your body, blessing your temple, just in case you may have absorbed someone else's energy throughout the day or the week, which we've all experienced being drained by someone, being heartbroken, getting into an argument, feeling like we've been disrespected. So um, we are like batteries, we're all energy, right? So when we're around certain people, certain people either boost us up or they drain us. So if you've been around a person or a group of people that have just like, you know, suck the life out of you or really put you in a bad mood and made you um, just down and low. Burning white sage, this is called white California sage. When you burn this, this is actually proven, scientifically it's been proven as well, to remove negative energy and put you in a better mood and it works for 24 hours. So after you smudge with white sage, you have a good 24 hours that you're gonna feel um, really good and then you may feel bad again depending on what you've been through but um so you can burn this as much as you want you can burn it once a week in your house you can burn it every day it's really up to the individual but it's been working since the beginning of time and that's why it's so popular and not only do Native American Indians use this but people from all around the world um, in Italy they use this the priests use this to ward off negative spirits during exorcisms um, in Africa they use it, in India they use it. This is very, very popular all around the world from all walks of life, so it, it really does say something. So this is um, my candle when it's packaged, right? And if you see that, it says home to my soul on the card, on the business card. So I burn sage and I bless each and every one of my candles um, while I'm making the candle and after it's already been packaged. The reason why I'm doing that, um, the reason why I do that, is because I believe that energy goes into objects. Um, these are handmade products. These are all handmade by me. I haven't um, trained other people to help me yet, but that's coming as I expand. Right now, each and every candle has been handmade by me, so my energy goes into these candles. Um, how much energy goes into them? I'm not saying like, you know, <laughs> like I'm possessing each object no of course not but you know i do believe that energy goes into objects because there's true stories about um possessions for example like of an, uh, a doll getting possessed like annabelle you know um chucky chucky wasn't a true story but but chucky is a thing and it you know was inspired by other true stories of voodoo dolls of energy going into dolls um like annabelle for example so if negative energy can go into items like dolls and clocks and you know haunted houses and and things of that nature then why can't positive energy also um you know just uh affect the energy of something you know what i mean like like affect the uh, yeah you, you get what i'm saying so um so there's negative energy and there's positive energy so i because they're handmade they're so personable i make each and every one I like to smudge the sage because I'm putting my good energy into them, but also I don't want it to just have my energy, right? It's, I just want it to have good energy, period. You know, not just me, but wherever it goes from the delivery box to your home and so on and so forth. I just want it to have a nice layer of protection. So I just, I burn sage, I, I smudge each and every candle. I also have palo santo here, which means sacred wood. Palo santo in Spanish means sacred wood in English. And this is actually grown in parts of South America, such as Peru. So I'm gonna burn a little bit of this here on the other side, so you can see um, how it burns. It, it's not easy to burn because it's like a tough wood, but it smells really good, actually, Palo Santo. Palo Santo is something you wanna do after you burn the sage, 
So sage is like the first step to blessing your home or blessing your items or blessing yourself. And then you want to seal it with some Palo Santo, um, which smells really, really good. And Palo Santo is just like, it wards off negative energy as well, but it's not as powerful as sage. This is more of like a layer of protection you put after to maintain the positive energy. So, and this has also been proven. I mean, aromatherapy in itself has been proven through scientists that when you smell the um, the good fragrance, it goes into your the signals go up to your brain and it opens up your endorphins and it makes you feel good and it does relieve headaches and tension. So it's a stress reliever. So it has been known to heal. These are natural remedies. Um, so it's really a good idea to burn sage and Palo Santo just for yourself if that's something you want to do in your home. You know, just to if you're relaxing and you're reading a book or you just got out of a bath, a bubble bath, and you know, you're in bed and you're comfortable and you know, you just want to put candlelight around you and smell essential oils and burn incense. These are going to be your best friends. White sage and Palo Santo, they're so good. So again, I burn these items um, and I bless each and every candle that I make. This is one of the candles that I make. This is a jasmine scented candle. I love the scents. Now, of course, it's a jasmine scented candle because my name is Jasmine. <laughs> it's home to my soul by Jasmine Clemente. It is named after me. But if the smell did not smell good, if the jasmine flower did not smell good, I would not be making candles out of a, a scent just because I'm named after it, you know? It, I just happen to be lucky where my name is a beautiful name. I'm so happy that my mom chose to name me Jasmine because I do like my name. And the flower is really, really popular all around the world. It's just a really good fragrance. So I made 100% soy wax candles with jasmine essential oils and it smells really good and looks like this. These are some of the um, flower petals. And if I just dim this light a little bit, then you can see the colors of those flowers. There's jasmine in there, there's other, there's some lavender. So there's different flowers in there, but the scent is jasmine. That's the logo. This one is a 12 ounce candle. I do have other options. I have eight ounce candles. Um, and I do have lavender and rose. I do have other scents, but the um, the main signature scent is the jasmine scented candle. But like I said, I do have other options if you cruise the website. So again, you know, I, I bless these. You know, I burn the Palo Santo and the sage and I bless each and every candle. And then I package them and I put them inside um, a jute rope a jute rope bag like this which is plain and you can still use a jute rope bag afterwards I mean it's not like a box that you just throw out this you can keep and you can put like your jewelry inside or anything important like little um, trinkets that you have you can keep this for something else so it's cool because it's like multi-purpose you know um, and since I'm an artist a true artist like I just love creating and <laughs> my imagination is, is nuts um, <laughs> But I'm a singer as well, that's how I started um, my career actually many years ago. I've been singing since I was a kid. So I chose this wrapping paper that has music notes. Just because it's a flare, it's like a, it's just a piece of me, of who I am. So, um, and I know a lot of people like music notes, it's very vintage. The butterfly is really cool too. So it's, it's nice for a birthday gift or even, you know, just a nice gift to give someone like a housewarming or something. Um, yeah, so I really hope that you cruise through my website, hometomysoul.com. You know, look at all the candles that I've made. I am going to expand the line and I'm actually going to be selling my own sage because <laughs> I love sage so much. Um, you know, I want to start expanding on the, the incense because it's just something I'm very passionate about and I feel that um, when you're relaxing at home or even in a creative space, let's say your art studio, let's say you're a painter or a singer or a dancer, you know, when we're creating art, I feel like the incense that we have around us, it just makes us feel better and it allows us to flow, to allow our creative juices to flow in a positive, serene environment. You know, incense are just, they're so healing. So again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please visit my website, www.hometomysoul.com. 
I promise you, you're gonna really, really love these candles. I mean, I'm being totally honest. I'm not selling something just to sell it. I am so happy that I'm proud of the product that I make. I'm a candle whore. <laughs> I love candles and I know a lot of people love candles. So I'm really happy that I decided to make them. And the scents are good, they're organic, it's soy wax, it's clean, they're beautiful. The way I make them are really pretty, the way I package, the, package them are nice. Um, and I just take pride in, in what I do. And you know, I want you to feel good um, with all these incense and clear your mind, relax, take care of your mind, body, and soul. You are your best number one investment. Take care of yourself first, and then you can take care of others properly. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Namaste. Till next time.